people uh, see me out in public and they're like bottoms up or they want to get a picture and or talk to me and like to me it's just surreal because like even when they first started posting it i didn't really like think it was anything special i just thought like i was like oh, all right people you know making memes thought it was funny or whatever and then little by little like knowing artists would start posting on their page and like have some um, nice to say about it it was still like surreal to me even at the time i was like i don't know if they were confused or like what the fuck was going on but i don't know if they heard the word maybe they just heard something that i didn't hear but yeah people seem to love it and comment on it so and a little by little i guess within like the last three months is when it's really taken off some songs you like they take some time to like map it out, but that was one like once as soon as the beat drop, I already just knew where to go with it. It was originally just some uh, girl that I liked. She was the inspiration behind it. When I, if you hear the lyrics, I'm it's really I'm just like writing down my how I'm feeling. I was like really talking about a girl that I saw at the club. It was a real story, and then from there I just fucking rolled with it. I took little parts about her and fucking added them into the verses, and it just came out like that. You was at the club, bottoms up. When I first met you, she was actually the bartender. That's how she was pouring. She was pouring drinks and shit. From then on, I was just like, I just wanted to know her. Couldn't get enough. Had to get you straight to my bedroom. Drinks to lit my cup. Everyone wants to comment on the cup, but it was just there. It was part of the. This is what I'd be doing. I'd be always sipping with my cups. The drinks still in my cup challenge. Have you ever seen that one? They're just like dressing up like me and they're fucking like singing and shit. They're like going like this. Like people will just insert like things in like in my hand and shit. Like there was one where like Fortnite, they have like a chug jug in my hand or fucking like people put like an ice cream cone or some shit. I think it's pretty fucking funny. Crib is large so you can bring your friends to. Pillow full of makeup. She's so bad she gonna need her own debut. I try to incorporate vibes from other songs like Crib so large you can bring your friends to. It's kind of like P. Diddy's. You got your friends, I got my friends, we could be friends. I try to like give it that gangster still like smooth feel and like try to incorporate old school music into now's gang like now's generation and just like give it that vibe. Showed it just like me. Loves drugs, hates being sober in my psyche. In my heart, and I didn't even know her. She could have said anything, we would have like I would have made it happen. <laughs> she was bad, like, yeah, she could have said, like, let's bounce, I'm like, let's go. Some shit, you know, like you could just see somebody and be like, I'll do anything for that person. It's something like that. I asked you wouldn't believe. See you in those jeans wanna pull you closer. I was looking Chinese. She didn't smoke, but now she's a stoner. Everything unique. No, no, no mediocre, young, wild, and free. At the time, I didn't know what I was doing. I was still unsure about which direction I was trying to go in. Incorporated it from Wiz's song and like, just young, wild, and free, just living it one day at a time. Having fun, just being young, having fun while you can, doing it, doing what you can do. Being a little rambunctious and shit. No cuffs, no, you can't control her. Body covered in ink. I can beat it up, or we can just go slower. Baby, come with me. I'll give you everything and it'll never be over. Girl, just let me know. We can go and fuck up some commas. That is a good question what I do with my money. I fucking usually bury my money. <laughs> it's fucking at my dad's house. If I do go out and blow money and shit, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna have a wild ass night. Boy, boy, West Coast. Imagine this coming from the bottom, acting like she don't. Trying to front when we know she wanna. Baby, we can go. Acapulco to Tijuana. I mean, I know she was feeling me. She just like, she knew it wasn't probably in her best interest to get involved with me. So, I mean, I don't blame her, but I mean, she could front, but we both knew what it was. We just living it up, having fun. Give a fuck what y'all said. Shouty loves a thug. Matching whips, we dipping down Broadway. Excuse me, what's your name by Jay-Z in the music video? He has like all the cars lined up and they each have like a day of the week. So for some reason, I just incorporated that thought when I was watching, when I was mapping shit out in my mind, I was like, it'd be cool. Matching whips, just doing wild fun shit when you're young, like with, with a cool chick. Spark like a plug. She dab it up and I be rolling up Bombay. Bombay, like the bomb weed. That's old school, like Dr. Dre, 2001 shit. Coffee in my mug. Baby asking why looking so slow, Shay, when we locked eyes, knew you were mine, didn't have to ask you. That part was probably more my imagination. <laughs> because yeah, when we locked eyes, I don't think she was having it. Fuck the mother, guys. Give you everything and we can split this cash to feeling like a dream. Tell me what you need and I can make that happen. Love the ocean breeze. All aboard and I'ma be your captain. Mixtape on repeat. When the boy come on, they like, who's that rapping? Cause at the time, when we recorded the verse, Playboy Gangster was just about to drop. People would like hear my songs, like who's this guy with the deep voice? They didn't know my nationality or they didn't know like what was what. So I was like, yeah, when the boy come on, it's like, this is me. House like a retreat. I came from the hood, no, not the Hamptons. Never wanna leave. 
I give you ecstasy and a little thug's passion. I love where I come from, Santa Barbara. I'm like, not everybody made it out. A lot of bad stuff happened and shit. I grew up around just like cutthroat motherfuckers, so I could just like, it's authentic. Like, I could get up here, bulletproof vest, bandanas on. It's like, because I'm a real, because I'm gangster, mother. Like, to other people, it's like, what are you doing? Host alone in my sleep. What you like? I got the latest fashions. Cool and watch TV. Blowing clouds, looking like a dragon. All she want is me. And silk sheets, no, no, not satin. I think you're the one. Tell me what you want, don't care what the cost is. Can't say that, I'm sprung. But if you keep this up, might be my fiance. Nah, we haven't spoken in fucking probably since I made that song. She don't reply to my messages or nothing. I messaged her like just trying to thank her before and she did. It kind of wants nothing to do with me, which is, I mean, whatever. Everyone's got their own preference. Not everybody wants a gangster rapper. To be honest, I'm still not 100% sure what I want, but girl, it's like, it's fun to be with as she is professional. Gonna keep like a happy medium. This morning I was fucking getting dressed. You know PewDiePie? The fucking um, gamer guy. He, <laughs> it was like a meme of him. He's like playing video games and then like my song keeps coming on. He's like, I don't wanna hear fucking Boy Boy West Coast. And like just that, even like the fact that he knew my name was pretty fucking humbling. I was laughing my ass off. Like that kind of shit is cool as fuck.